Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to do something very, very, very interesting. I don't think this has been ever done before. I don't think in history of Windows and the world. So it's me, Nasmus, and welcome to another Nasmus Labs video. We're going to convert a Metro application to a desktop app. The Metro app we'll talk about today is called Evernote. Yes, it's the Evernote app. The Metro app itself is called Evernote Touch. There's a Windows 8 application, but uh, so I have it maximized here. Uh, right clicking on it, it brings up the app bar as usual with the sync option. Uh, app bars are part of Windows 8 Metro style apps. And this, uh, back in the day with Windows 8, there was something called Charms, and Metro style app made a lot heavy use of Charms. But since Windows 10 doesn't have Charms, uh, this button exists. It's called a command button. You could uh, mimic a swipe gesture, which Clicking app commands brings up the app bar, which you could do by right clicking or swiping from the top. You could use a share charm to share to another app, or you could do the settings charm to get to the app setting. In Windows 8, you have to swipe from the right and click the settings gear or cog icon. Here you do it using this button. This is only for Windows 8 apps. Windows 10 apps do not behave this way. So if we go to settings, account info and reminders, customer service reminders like these are all windows 8 style applications if i go to notes here if i can see all my notes here um you'll see again windows 8 style applications but if i click on a note such as take notes there's an example note you could see there's some buttons here right clicking here will bring up the editing toolbar which is disabled by default Another another characteristic of Windows 8 apps were that useful stuff were actually hidden, so people didn't know how to get to them. In Windows, in the, if this is a tablet, uh, this is, if you're trying to use touch gestures, I, I'm on my Surface, you'd have to swipe swipe on the bottom edge uh, to get this bottom or top edge, and most people didn't know stuff like this, and that's what made Windows 8 apps really conf confusing to use. But yeah, so why am I showing you all this? Is because we're going to convert this Metro style application. I'm logged into Evernote. We're going to inshallah convert this app to a desktop app. Evernote has released an update for Windows 10 anniversary update users to the Evernote, Evernote app from the Windows Store that will actually convert your application to the existing Evernote desktop app because there's not a lot of pe people are using this touch app and Evernote wants to focus its energy making one app for Windows which is the most currently developed desktop app. So here is Evernote. It's no longer called Ever Evernote Touch because now again it's just the des desktop app Evernote. It's called it used to be called Evernote Touch as you could see here. If I click here uh, you could see that it's they still haven't updated the screenshot. If I click show all Here's some example notes, but I believe if I install this, let's find out. It's going to replace this Metro style app to a desktop app. We're literally up upgrading a ap Metro application to a desktop app. Let's do that. Resume installation of Evernote. Starting download downloading 401 k kilobytes. We're still the app is running. Let's put this app here put so you could see both so you could see the download progress 92 megabytes it's doing pretty well install the Evernote app crashed it didn't crash it went away now we're ready to launch the application as you can see guys this is the desktop app we have literally upgraded to a desktop app the icon still the same and it has deleted all it has it since the desktop app has no knowledge of the metro app it I requires me to sign in again so let's see what happens to Evernote we're going to uh, it's called Evernote now the store still suggests Evernote touch I'm going to pin this to start trusted windows store app the, it still has a live tile you could click this and again it launches the desktop app and i'm logged in to the all new desktop app so i'm going to update all the other apps while we're at it but yeah 
resume all. I immediately paused the update when I noticed Evernote on the list. I had to show it to you guys, but yeah. As you can see, we are running the desktop app of Evernote. So now, guys, you will be able to get Evernote from the Windows Store. This is awesome, and you get the desktop, rich desktop app experience. Very cool, very cool. Thank you for watching. I think I hope you like it. Again, this is the desktop app. About Evernote, Evernote Corporations, all rights reserved. Very cool, very cool. Close. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.